Hi guys hope you all are doing good welcome to my youtube channel today in this video i am going to show you the construction of a double cell box culvert so make sure you watch this video completely in order to better understand this concept of the construction of double cell box culvert so first of all as you can see that we are pouring concrete into the base of our culvert for this purpose we used a ratio of 1 to 4 so guys you can see that after pouring concrete into the base our formwork for the walls has been placed so guys you can see that the iron bender had placed the reinforcement bars and then the formwork was placed here you can see that we have started pouring concrete into the decking of our culvert on the other hand you can see that the carpenter is placing the formwork here you can see that after pouring concrete we are using the concrete vibrator here you can see that the reinforcement bars for the head wall were also placed for this purpose we used y10 and y12 mm bars you can see that the reinforcement bars for the decking were placed and they were separated i mean the top bar and the bottom bars were separated with the help of spacers for this purpose we used reinforcement chairs the head a dia of 12 mm so guys you can see that the concrete is being mixed properly with the help of concrete vibrator concrete vibrator as i told you earlier in my previous videos it is a very good machine which helps us to avoid honeycombing Guys, you can see that the reinforcement bars had a spacing of 250. At some places, it had a spacing of 200 millimeters. So, guys, here you can see that we are doing the excavation for the construction of our aprons. Apart from apron, we are also going to do the construction of two beams. for the two beams we had kept a depth of 40 cm while the width was kept at 30 cm the total projection of our apron was maintained at 1.5 meters for the wing walls we kept an angle of 45 degrees you can see that we have also done the excavation for the two beams and here our iron bender is bending the reinforcement bars for the wing walls you can see here that we have placed the starter bars for the construction of our apron you may also see the reinforcement bars for the head walls for the head wall you can see that for the runner we maintain the spacing of 250 mm so here you can see that we have started pouring concrete into the apron for this purpose also we use the ratio of 1 to 4 you can see that concrete is being placed very well into the apron here you can see that we are pouring concrete into the two beam for the construction of two beam you may also use the reinforcement bars or you can use the hard core here since the ground was very tough and we did not really had to use the reinforcement bars I used hardcore. Here you can see me 
standing at the site and doing the site supervision. So guys, here you can see that after pouring concrete into the apron and the two beams, we are using our concrete vibrator. You can see that the concrete vibrator is being used very well. Let me please also mention the fact that the thickness of our concrete walls was maintained at 25 centimeters or 250 millimeters. The height of our culvert box was maintained at 800 millimeters while the width was maintained at 1.2 meters. The height of our wing wall was maintained at almost 1.1 meters while it ended at a height of almost 800 millimeters. So guys you can see that the concrete was poured into the apron and the two beams and now we are preparing to cast concrete into the head walls. So after pouring concrete into the head walls you can see here that the mason is doing the dressing of the concrete works. So guys, I hope you like this video and you enjoyed the construction of this double cell box culvert. At the back you can see that we are using flat roller in order to smooth in the laterite work. So guys, I hope you like this video. In case you do so, please do share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel. In case you have any questions, do write them in the comment box. So until my next video, take care of yourself. Goodbye.